Oh guys, what's going on? Dumzo Danino. Dumzo Danino. Back up in this motherfucker with part number three of GTA San Andreas Vice City Stories. Yeah, guys, you already know my schedule. Nothing new here. Uh, it's been a week since the last stream. Um, nothing much has changed over here. Just working, grinding, short uploading. You already know the fucking dealio. Um, so I finally watched Avatar: The Way of the Water. Pretty good movie, guys. Pretty good fucking movie. That's just my opinion, though. I, I feel like there's a lot of mixed emotions. Like if some, like uh, some people don't feel like the movie lived up to the hype. Look, I feel like in today's age, it lives up to the hype. I feel like it just gets there, right? Where every other movie's uh ranked right now, it meets it. But the reason why people had high expectations for this movie, it's because whenever the first one came out, that shit went above all standards. You're talking about a movie that was released about 10 years ago that looked like it was a movie that came out right now. It was way ahead of its time, which is why it did so good in the theaters. The movie's good. The concept's good. The plot is good. Everything's good about the movie. The Way of the Water, uh, by the way. The new one. But like I said, it just it feels like it's running current with where, where it's supposed to be. Opposed to Avatar number one, where that one just blew everything out the water. That one was just different compared to... um not. Compared to the rest of the movies that was out during that time. Which is why I believe um, some people probably have mixed emotions about the second one. The second one was released when it should have. The first one was way ahead of its time. So it's a hard comparison. But like I said, I thought it was a dope movie. Uh, other than that, guys, it is February 10th, 2023. A little late. Yeah, that movie's not short by the way, and it is Faded Fridays, so you know how we like to do it over here, Faded Fridays, got myself some fucking beer, yes sir, so you know how, how it's gonna go down, so without further ado guys, I'm gonna get right into this motherfucker, part number three of GTA Vice City Stories, let's get right into this bitch. <clears throat> Uh, fuck, excuse me. Thumbs out. Um, but yeah, guys, it's kind of sometimes it's whenever I come back from a week off, quote unquote, kind of hard to actually pick up where I left off. But the, where I do remember leaving off is uh, getting this motherfucker um, a different outfit. I think this one's called the the trailer trash outfit or some bullshit like that. I could be wrong, but um. It, uh, I wouldn't say I'm that far off. Uh, looks like we gotta go do some missions for Louise. Um, friendly reminder, we killed her fucking husband. Also, too, guys, I was looking at the gameplay, and I'm, I'm done with this little thing that's called trails. It's just annoying. Everything glows. Nothing looks sharp. It tries to make it look as high de- or a little bit more high def than it. And it really is. I think just doing um, normal, I feel like it serves justice. So yeah, we're gonna kick like it back to guns. just normal shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flags for your trucks and, and beating up on little girls. Um, like that, you know, yeah, let me. I'm gonna. I'm about to crack open this cold one. Let me just uh, get this mission started, and then we can continue. Yeah, guys, right now I'm in the process of um, uploading all the shorts for GTA 3. Yeah, just bear with me, guys. Just bear with me. And I'm going to start uploading these fuckers. But yeah, guys, um, Vader Fridays, Dumzo Janino, Vice City 3, Vice City 3, Vice City Stories. You know how we do it. Without Marty and I've got a plan. Ooh. Why don't you talk take at. over Marty's business? I'm no gang boss. No, but I'm you a could gang boss. be. Yeah. Come on, we both need the cash, honey. 
Yep, that's me. First, we need to get some guys together. What the fuck do you know about running a stupid gang business? I'm supposed to ask permission to that's my attempt at doing the robot. Never again. ECPR. Yeah, but right after I got done watching that movie, I just ate a burrito. Fucking good ass burrito. I gotta pop in the business. Um, yeah, guys, this this is the part where this um this game sets itself apart from the rest. Is the fact that you can take over little businesses and you can pretty much run them as your own. It has its own little uniqueness. You're not really, you know. Hey, wanna make some money? You're not really um running the business entirely but you do little things here and there basically controlling it uh this train stops i need you for something i'm the man for the job i need you for something i'm the man for the job okay nope i can't use that that'd be pretty dope if they could just jump in the back And all these guys do basically is just help you shoot. That's it. So that business that Marty had, um, where he was uh, repoing cars and shit, they're gonna make me take that motherfucker over. So in order, uh, it, it said it before, in order to initiate these gang businesses or these gang wars, you blow up their car first and then they. I'll go find some more guys and see you at Marty's other place. This shouldn't be too tough. Come on, guys. There's fucking six dude versus three, dude. Come on, of course it's gonna be a little harder than. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it wasn't as hard as I thought. Marty's lone shark uh, is out of business. Wipe out the remainder of the protection racket. Freeze, pinhead. Where is the dude's at? Do I really have to go to his trailer trash fucking... Trailer? Let me get my fucking Invisalign in before I forget. I don't have a water bed and the reason why because it's not necessary. No need to lie to everyone. If you want to be in a country, you must come correct. And you might be the kind that I would select. Because I'm the head of the boss, but no one to be the first. I did get copyrighted for something in my last YouTube upload. You better not fucking get copyrighted for this one. Wow, I can't even listen to that shit either. That was music. Go inside to take over the site. What, there's people in there that I gotta shoot up now? Got my trigger finger ready. Have a nice day. So, I was right. 
All there was was a fucking bar in there. You did it, Vic. The Shut the fuck up. Yeah, but I don't know how to run <sighs> this kind of thing. Marty could do it, and he was nearly inbred. You'll pick it up. You're amazing. You can do anything. Hey, boss. This is a full-time position. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Everything's gonna be just fine. Uh, this site is now part of your business your empire. You will find your gang members hanging around outside any business that you own. Let me guess you can recruit them whenever you want to. You can recruit them and join by targeting them using your R3 button. What else do I need to know? While not on a mission, you can enter the building on the side by walking into the arrow. Alright, well, what can I do inside? This looks like a normal ass little trailer. Inside you will find more gang members. You can start missions by standing near the gang members and using the R3 button. Complete Empire missions to increase your reputation. A high reputation will increase your earnings. For a business type, your Empire earning will be paid directly at uh, 4 p.m. every day. Every business that you own also contains notice boards. This is too uh, intuitive. Uh, stand next to the notice board and push the R3 button to develop a site. Okay. <sighs> so this is the 80s and they got direct deposit. At the airport. All right. Well, let's go inside real quick and see exactly what I could do or not. Looks like I gotta go straight to the fucking airport. <clears throat> All right, the airport it is. Show was taken off the air so fast 40 years ago, but anyone with talent is still in Normandy. We'll have more from the archives of the Vice City Broadcasting System again soon. Next is New World Order, international news that takes you around the world firms you should stick to the safety of your and a subdivision i love florida it's a gift to america oh great now i know i know what this is about fuck man i'm your host Wayne thor fuck man are you if not you don't deserve to own a radio if like me you don't want a passport and consider los santo five drive five guys is that right Yeah, I hate that motherfucker. Hey, bro, <laughs> Lance. Hey, what are you doing here? You don't sound so pleased. No, I'm not so pleased. Thanks, bro. Who was you expecting? What a greeting, man. Not you. Someone useful. So what am I? A handicap, huh? Your dumbass, low life, no good brother. Something like that. Yep. Yeah, well. I'm not the one who got kicked out of the army. No, you're the asshole who got kicked out of the Boy Scouts. Oh, come on, man. I come all this way to see you and you treat me like I got herpes. Maybe that's because your whole life you've got <sighs> us into trouble. Oh, give me a break, man. I've changed. Bullshit, Lance. You're responsible for getting Vic killed in Vice City. Okay. You're I'll responsible you for betraying one Tommy Versetti. Yeah, you're yeah, also yeah. responsible hey, for getting here, your man. ass killed. Shut the fuck it, up. I fucking hate you, you. And love can change the world. But Vic, Dumbass. What? I have got herpes. Get off me, man. <laughs> just get in the damn car. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not the car I had, was it? Oh. No, that wasn't it. 
All the cholos have been looking for you, Mr. Big Shot. What do you want with me? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. You killed plenty cholos. Now we kill you plenty. Get us out of here, Lance. And we work the house. Dude, oh my god. Is this your idea of a welcome party? Bitch, you wanted to. Oh, wait, where the hell am I going, man? With the biggest song in 1983. Y'all just don't understand. Vice City, Vice Bitches, Club. Let's go straight. Let's go. And watch the road. Oh, shit. <laughs> people come in, people go. I'm just too pretty to die. Shut the fuck up. You just ran somebody over, Lance, you piece of shit. And that's the way it is. There's more of them! Do you have any friends in this town? Not really. Bro, this car's about to blow up. Lance, come the fuck on, buddy. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to pass this at all. Drive straight, you dumbass. Yeah, this is it right here. Well, it was good knowing you, Lance Vance. One more Lance Vance. <laughs> One more Lance what? That's what I fucking thought. You're a piece of shit. You're useless. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll skip that. Um. All right. So this is the cool part about my city stories. Yes, yes, yes. I'll explain so, um, just like every other Grand Theft Auto game in the 3D era, there's this heart, uh, gives you health. Then you got this thing over here, uh, pay 2000 to buy your weapon, your weapons back. I don't have any money, but I have a lot of weapons, so get that shit back. Probably not even worth it. And then you go over here, you take a taxi and it takes you right where, uh, your last mission was. Pretty fucking convenient if you ask me. Yeah, I'm starting to think that shit wasn't even worth it. It's just so fucking hard to control the analog. Because it's not like sensitive, you know what I mean? Like if you point left, it's gonna go all the way. If you point right, it's gonna go all the way. It doesn't matter if you slightly go left or you slightly go right. Or if you go right all the way or left all the way. It doesn't matter. What I'm doing, Let's just get on with it. Get us out of here, Lance. Oh, and we break the house. Y'all stay too for more hot jokes right now. Fresh. Fire, baby. Fresh. Funky fresh. Is this your idea of a welcome party? Come on, move it. Wait, wait, where the hell am I going, man? Just always look forward. Holy sh how am I almost like halfway damaged? Let's go! Hey, watch the road! Oh shit! People come in, people go I'm just too pretty to die. Woo! And the way in Look out, Vic! There's more of them! Do you have any friends in this town? To my religion, I am a peace-loving, God-fearing American. And I'll kill or me and anyone who says otherwise. Or has an alternate view of the afterlife. Once you have figured out the meaning of the universe, you do whatever you Talking of consequences... Fuck, dude. 
Now I'm about to get fucking fucked up again. John Sickerman has this report. John. Ecuador. I don't know where I am on the map, but wherever it is, it's high up and I feel sick. This place is driving me mad. But inside this crazy country, it burns the heart of a capitalist nation, as I learned recently when I met Pedro Anuncio, who is with a snap. And on John and Kenji, from the bottom of my heart, you have helped me. One more Lance fans chance. Let's you prick! Damn, you got a lot of air on that one. And I almost beat the fucking mission too. You're never driving again. I had it with you, man. You put me off. You always treat me like a kid. Behind you, dumbass. Lance, you fucking idiot. Just stay the hell out of my way, man. You clearly have no idea what you're doing. You like oh, Lance, you're almost dead. You fucking died, you oh. idiot, man. Oh my god. Uh. Yeah, that mission's gonna be pretty tricky if uh, Lance continues to act like a fucking idiot. Get in my way. Sucks fucking horse steak is that we have to go back and do it all over again. What sucks even more horse steak is the fact that these older games don't have that feature where you just uh, you start from the checkpoint. That's it right there. I need another one. Oh, look who's running! I'm gonna be in a headband. Look who got hit! Fucking idiot. I got a That's a bitch though, man. Joke's on you, fuckheads! I got a bite. The more I drink, the less I worry about this mission. Get us out of here, Lance. Oh, and we the stay too for more hot jokes right here on Fresh. Fire, baby. Fresh. Funky Fresh. Is this your idea of a welcome party? Funky Fresh. Come on, move it. Oh, wait, where the hell am I going, man? Vice bitches. Hey, watch the road. Oh shit! Part of the new world. I'm just too pretty to die. <laughs> Woo! That's exactly why we don't like you, fucking Lance. Ah, oh, dude, this car's gonna blow up already. A show that was a favorite of arsonists and conservationists alike. It's something we dug up from. Do you have any friends in this town? Time and we've run out of money. This is This is really gonna be one of those fucking missions, man. Stupid 
analog, dude. Man, fuck my guns. I need them, bro. Hey, Gringo, I got shit to do today. Dude, I'm gonna go broke by the end of this fucking mission, man. Damn. Look at that. You think I'm gonna fucking do good with just that? I'm gonna go broke by the end of this fucking mission. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ready. Get us out of here, Lance. <laughs> and we work the house. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, okay, that's probably the best start I've had so far, so it looks like we're gonna do pretty good. Come on, move it! Come on, move it! Where the hell am I going, man? Oh my god, okay, yeah, I'm gonna fail this mission again. Yeah, I'm gonna fail it. Hey, watch the road! Oh shit! There's no way I'm gonna hit all my targets, especially with uh, that kind of damage. I did good. You know, don't don't get me wrong. I did good at the beginning, but fuck, man. I'm not doing too bad. I'm actually trying to shoot these fuck faces. Okay, not too hey, bad. We are all one family, really, eh? especially in Utah. You, you have a bin lot in the car. If you did, ten of them. You know what, Mister? If you did, you'd understand. This city has lost its soul. Shit! They're everywhere. Great <laughs> speculation. No, oh, dude, yeah, this is not gonna help. Or this is not gonna end good. Just like me and stand past these dudes. Done. And so it would see one more Lance fans check. Fuck. Ugh. Dude, literally. Oh my god. What do you want me to do? There goes another 2000. What do they got to say now? Fuck off. Let's get a move on. At least I'm getting paid by the Empire, but Jesus, man. <laughs> At this point, I'm not going to do shit. <sighs> Literally, this whole part is going to get spent me doing this. But I, I think I have a new approach though, especially if I want to get past like all of these solo guys at the beginning. Just aim for them. Don't aim for the car. All right, let's see. Get us out of here, Lance. Y'all stay tuned for more hot jokes right here on Fresh Five, baby. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Your idea of a welcome party. Come on, move it. Oh, wait, where the hell am I going, man? Fuck. Okay, that wasn't as bad as the first time. Vice City, Vice Bitches, Club Malibu. I'm going. Vice Bitches. Hey, watch the road. So could have done better though. Because now my I'm accuracy has to be on die. fucking point. <laughs> okay, that's good right there. Okay. Do you have any friends in this town? Daughters they were, pouty lips, bronze, 
Well, then, if you're just tuning in, this is a special New World Order investigation into the terrors of the Far East. Bryce, would it be possible? I can never get that dude. Excellent. Bryce Parker reporting from Thailand. Coming up, do cigarettes make you a cowboy? Millions of Chinese think so. We'll talk to Redwood Tobacco CEO Ken. One more Lance Van Perfect. You prick. <sighs> okay. Who's the chingo now, Mamon? All right. So this is the other part. You're never dropping again. All I gotta do is. Kill these dudes and make sure that Lance doesn't get killed. Yeah, it's that time. Yeah. Who's the chingo now, Mamon? Come on, Lance. Yes, it will hurt you. Oh. Oh. Die, street trash. Oh. I'd appreciate a ride to my whole Shut the fuck up, dude. You're, dude, this mission's not even fucking over. What's a story that will touch your heart? I'm here to help you, Timmy. Uh, you're not my mom. You're just begging them for coke money. Fuck off, you little brat. What kind of Why fucking bullshit commercial is this? It's Bruno's greatest challenge. To save his honor, his son, and his manhood. See Push Up the Movie. And up. <laughs> nah, I am glad that we are done with this fucking mission. That's the cops' fault. Well, I can't fuck up my driving because if I crash. Might catch on fire. Right, you don't even know where I'm gonna go, buddy. Thank God. Impressive. That's probably the hardest mission by far in this game. It's either that or because I'm drinking, but that that mission is pretty hard. There's no way that that's Vic's car. There's no way that I'm going over here. Stealing cars and this was a fucking cheetah. No way. It's not supposed to be first, whether it's the U or the L. It doesn't mean you're small minded. It means you've understood that there is right and there is wrong. Whatever the liberals in the government try to tell you, when you're facing the final judgment, try telling the real Supreme Court that you thought everyone was made equal. You'll get laughed out of court. It's a club. How many? Oh my god. There's a lot of fucking empires. Oh. Anyone can join as long as they pay, but if they choose not to, they better live with the consequences. Let's go to the U. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this car's going stupid fast. Or let's just start with Luis since we're already here. Hose the hose. Hey, Louise, it's me. Vic, thank God you're here. I just heard your cat house is going up in flames. Are the girls okay? <sighs> Did Marty's inbred family do this? I'll be right down. <clears throat> Did you call the fire department? Don't worry. I know where we can get a fire truck. 
So we're gonna do this by ourselves instead of just calling the fucking fire department. Louise, you are a fucking idiot. I do not know what Vic sees in you, but I would not fucking take you up on any dates, do any business with you, and take care of these fucking emergencies. Let the cup go by, dumbass. You put out the fire. I don't even think I'm gonna get there in time. Girls died. Oh my god, dude. See what I fucking mean? <sighs> more stupid missions backed by more stupid fucking missions. Well, what helped me though is if I was able to keep this fire truck. We'll have to see right now. Hey, there's Lance's cheetah. All right, let's go. Hey, Louise, <laughs> it's Vic. Did Better you still be call there. the fire department? All right, let's go. Way. Fires aren't going out, man. What the fuck do you want me to do? It looks like I'm gonna get another mission fail. Thank That's God. My cousin. He did it, Vic. Get him. Bastard's got six toes. Hey, you. Bye, asshole. You bitch. I just have to go in there and repair it. Come on, baby. I gotta go um, at something. I hear you've got a girl don't spend all your money on her. you've got family obligation all right so let's uh develop this fucking site because if i ain't got no strip clubs i ain't got no fucking business I could never ace that bra. 
Alright, let's go back to uh <coughs> Luis. <coughs> Who we at? What's our time of the line? 40 minutes. Okay, what time? This is DCP offering top quality entertainment for all ages. What the fuck? That dude never left the car. Look at him. All right, you can roll with me. Episode of Morehead Rides Again is brought to you by the Vice City Broadcasting System. Hey, Lance, uh, yeah, Lance is fucking genius. There. Vic, oh welfare God. said I was a bad mother. Their you man are a bad take mom. Mary Beth off me unless I put out for him. But I'll show him. I've got a couple of guys to take care of him. <laughs> what? Killing him is going to make things worse. Dumbass. When's this happening? Well, kind of right now. Did I do wrong? How was I to know better? Yeah, Vic, now you're starting to see that this chick's not even fucking worth it, you idiot. And now you're picking up all the dirty yeah, shit for her. Team is a real Don't believe us. Suck it and see. That distinctive lead taste proves it's real. Lead is full of nutrients. Just ask any bad guy, Phil full of... Somebody help! And get your dad to buy 300 gallons of the good stuff. And you'll get an application to join the public protection team right away. All you need to do is fill it in and get your dad to send a check for $10 to Napalm Promotions Incorporated. And before you know it, you'll be fighting crime in the burgeoning metropolis of Vice Beach or down in the islands with George Moorcock and the gang. That's right. It won't cost you a penny. So what are you waiting for? As Jeremy Moorhead himself would say, you know who I am. I'm your chance to repent of the way downstairs. Bang, bang, bang. And now to Gordon Moorhead in Moorhead Rides Again. Gordon Moorhead and the exploding breasts. Last time, Moorhead was in Vice Beach, looking for a fisherman who had gone missing. The fisherman's daughter was explaining the circumstances of his disappearance. Then suddenly a shot rang out. The daughter was dead. Warn the what? Malmsteen were immediately on the case. So now I have to Moorhead shoot him up. confident he knew who had just committed this dastardly act. Report. Leave Louise Williams alone, pal, or you and I are gonna become close friends. I'm a little scared. It's because you're a woman. Calm down. Oh, you don't have to go and get crossed, but I guess I deserved it. Gordon, you're incredible. I feel much better knowing you're here. Who oh, shot her? Oh. There. Now I'm better. Helps a man think. Molly, I understand that being a woman, your interests are more in cookery than murder, so I'll make it simple. I'll what am I supposed to do? The same criminal gang who's holding the old car's about to explode? Yes, yeah, car's about to explode? It wasn't. It wasn't? No. So who shot this fisherman's daughter? I did. You? But oh, why? The fact is, Molly, there are a lot of things you don't understand with that darn poisonous estrogen coursing through you your veins. Mm. With her father missing, that girl was now an orphan, and a girl without parents is five times more likely to end up a prostitute, a fallen woman who ruins American marriages, or worse. Oh, that's terrible. So I shot her and threw the heater in the river. I saved her from herself and the rest of society from the kind of filth that preys on. Okay, okay. She's white trash anyway. Yes, she is. Fuck. I think probably the kind of man who raises a two-dollar tramp for a daughter. Uh, mission pass though. I don't like to express strong emotions, but I think I hate this fisherman Gordon. Don't hate him, Molly. Pity him and help me kill him. Oh, I shall. All right, let's go see what's up with Louise again. Looks like the chief has shown up. And what we'll, uh, get here after the real crime fire is done. Go ahead, Miss Longstein. I thought I told you two clowns to stop meddling in police business. Listen to me, chief. I respect you, but the fact is, without me, this town would be over before it's even begun. Vice Beach should be a peaceful place full of genuine people and Americans. But while searching for this fisherman, we've uncovered a ring of illegal communists and almost worse, a man who was leading girls into Oh, life. fuck. Captain Amino, asshole. all by it. You're about to have asphalt rash. You red dummy. Don't you run, boy. You're messing with the phone. Ah, <laughs> so your bike, bitch.
Wait, that that other L is that's Lance. Then you go to the U. Ora. I'm not surprised that happened. Fuck, I thought the U was already right here. No, I don't need that. Fuck. All right. Bro. And I fucked right his ass over. This is a revolution. I am a revolutionary. I am a bullfighter. Missions for the fucking Colombian cartel now. Nice package. Hey, you want Berto? Did somebody order a stripper? That's uh. Um, Excuse me. Because I like my bitches a bit less balding. What? Are you a comedian, Frank? <laughs> hmm? No, no. <laughs> I'm a man, just like you. Uh-huh. Umberto Rubina. You must be Vance. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So you heard about Marty? Yeah, I heard about that dumb punk. Came to an unfortunate end, huh? <laughs> Bitch fight. I like that, huh? Two bitches going at it hot and sweaty. <laughs> bang, bang, bang! <laughs> yeah, whatever you're into, man. Hey, I'm into men. Men proving themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds fun. Look. Didn't we do missions for, for this guy in Vice City, so the first one? So men can I rely on you? <laughs> sure, <laughs> puppy. <laughs> if you can prove to me you got some balls. I've got a package waiting for collections downtown. Yeah, Go we get did. It for me if you can. Yeah, we did. I'm not did. your delivery man, friend. Until I know you got some balls and some juice in them, there'll be no alliance yeah. between us. Why the reason why I was you? saying it's because in the first one, or in the original Vice City, he was the one that was talking about fucking having balls and a bunch of weird shit. I didn't read the fucking subtitle. And don't let Buenas noches, amigo. Buenas noches, señorita Malmsteen. Pablo, what are you doing here? Oh, Pablo no can say, señorita. But since you ask, I was searching for the souls of my ancestors. But I thought you were Mexican. Why would they be buried in Florida? Yeah, that's true. They're not here. Hey, would you like a tortilla chip? Pablo, this is no time for eating. Vice Beach is under threat. A vicious murder of pimpin' communist is on the loose in these beautiful wetlands right on our doorstep. Move We've got to find him and bring him to justice. <sighs> but Gordon, what kind of idiot would hide in these awful swamps? I mean, he's full of alligators and snakes and sea cow poo poo. Hold up. Choice. You foreigners don't know much. You're a primitive, Pablo, but you're a good man. This gem of a city is exotic and relaxing once you get over the man eating reptiles, shark infested waters, and tropical diseases. But enough of that. How do we catch this guy? We split up and search the swamps. After the pristine wetlands, whatever. And when we find him, amigos, then and only then, we. What? We bring him to justice and drink tequila. It's crazy, but it just might work. See, by the spirits of my ancestors, we find this crazy killer. You Americanos and my people are friends forever. Oh, forever. Ah. Let's split up. Molly, you better cut across that swampy bush and swim the waterways. It's safe. Pablo and I will stick together on the drive path. Come on. This real estate market ruin and killer must be here somewhere. I mean, what kind of sick man would try to ruin my speech's reputation? It's awful. Ew! Ew! Oh my, oh my god, man. I've been stuck here for two days. Oh, hey, wait! Well, everyone's gonna blow up. Listen, lady, I'm really in a lot of pain. Can you get me some help? You've been trying to ruin the city, bring down condo prices, and infest it with communists. I don't know what you're talking about. My name's Pete Banbury. I've fished these waters for 20 years. 
this. All I do is I fish and try to raise my daughter right. Well, Pete, there's some good news. Gordon Moorhead saved your daughter from turning to a life of ruining families and being a prostitute. Oh, really? But he wants to be a school teacher, not a hooker. What are you talking about? A teacher? Not anymore, she doesn't. Why not? She's dead. Yeah, this mission is not gonna end good. Uh. I don't even know this fucking cop car had a flat tire. Wonder if it works. Let's try it. What the fuck? This fucking car's about to blow up too, man. Fuck. I honestly do not see a path to victory in this fucking... Was that a penis? What in the fuck? Hey, you know what? I there might be a path to victory actually. God damn! I did not think I was gonna actually do this, fucking idiot. Hey, cool! Hell yeah! I did it! I fucking did it! Gracias, Vic. <laughs> I kiss you. Whoa, not today. Yeah, not today, buddy. Not fucking day. Um. Yeah, guys, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stop it right here. One, it's late where I'm at. Two, tomorrow I have a lot of shit to do. Three, I don't want to drink a lot. And four, it's getting late. But yeah, guys, I appreciate to those who did show up. Um, if you are on Twitch, head over to YouTube, check me out over there. If you're on YouTube, head over to Twitch, come chat with me. I stream at the most random time today. It was a little unique because I had a lot of other shit going on. But, um, yeah, I guess to finish off the fucking stream, I'll finish the rest of my, uh, ultra. So yeah, guys, um, I will see you guys on the next part of GTA by city stories, part number five, I believe until then peace and chicken grease. Uh. Ah. See you guys later.